<laughs> he shot you. Wow, nothing where Rihanna not go see under umbrella. Oh, nothing at all. <laughs> we have seen and unseen this past week. Hello, guys. It's your girl Onana, and this is Onana Nation. So today we are going to be talking about the Cameroonian International Film Festival Kami which just concluded in Boya in the southwest region of Cameroon. So the whole week was Kamif's week. We had the opening ceremony, the master classes, the mask gala, the white party, and the closing ceremony. So today we're going to be talking about the fashion, <laughs> the red carpet hits and misses that we've seen on this carpet today. Stay tuned. So let's talk about the red carpet hits. First up, we have Miss Stephanie Toom, who never disappoints. And this week, particularly, Stephanie was bent on peppering them gang. So she peppered all the haters. I mean, she was slaying from the opening ceremony to the cultural night to the white party to the mass gala. Oh my goodness. Who is her stylist? I'm interested to know. So Stephanie was serving look after look. This is the week where Stephanie established herself as the reigning queen of 237 Red Carpet. Like, as Sissy Panchak said in his song, level no day in your do oh my goodness the lady was serving us look after look look at this beautiful metallic dress off shoulder and the long slit all the way from the crotch downwards you can even see she had no underwear to show you that she came prepared i mean she gave it her all from top to bottom she was willing to risk it and it paid off look at her opening ceremony dress her beautiful blazer reminds me a little bit of michael jackson's thriller blazer and the little um knee level gown it looks beautiful as well and then she went to give us this beautiful yellow mustard design check out the back all the details check out the deep plunging neckline serving a cleavage here and there i mean and if you go to the traditional to her togo like she came prepared and that's the problem with some of the celebrities you see on the red carpet some of the underdressed celebrity they didn't come prepared award seasons typically happen once a year you have the whole year 365 days to prepare for this week alone and then you don't prepare you don't do anything serious and then the last minute you start looking for tailors in the cafe to do kotam nilam for you you will appear trashy you will appear unprepared and people will be dragging you all over their blogs you don't want that award seasons happen typically once a year so you know that prepare before time go and find your designs as this one has ended 2021 just start shopping for 2022 so this is what stephanie Tim did if you see the way she looks good you know that she did not hurry and buy all these things in one week no she had been planning for this the entire year she has been shopping here and there and keeping all these designs that's why they came to together beautifully that's a tip for you guys watching me all of you are, are award show attendees all of you celebrities out there make sure you prepare for your award season even before it arrives that's the same thing celebrities do here jennifer lopez and beyonce will not wake up in the morning of the med gala to go shop keep kardashian does not shop before fashion week one week before fashion week they shop months and months ahead of time and they have the stylist sending them all kinds of designs they go through them and they choose which one is best for them that's what you have to do stay ready stay woke at all times now we're going to talk about the next design next up is marvis Anne, another cameronian actress who did well on the red carpet so this was her look for the opening ceremony she wore a three-piece ensemble she wore a blazer over some white leg pants and the next day she wore a beautiful white body hugging dress and the only detail on this dress could be found around the neck and i found that beautiful too less is more sometimes that was really classy and elegant and for the closing ceremony oh baby that's when she came she just came to restrict our airflow who they breathe oh my gosh so marvis is stunning she's looking glamorous she's looking gorgeous like she's looking like a sculpture something that will just create a work of art so marvis is rocking this beautiful beautiful mimic dress check out the details on the shoulder a body hugging dress it's so beautiful and perfectly put together every single cut is working in her favor hugging all her curves and all her edges beautifully like who is the designer of this dress i just want to know so she is rocking the dress she is working it the way she is posing she knows she looks beautiful when you look beautiful you feel beautiful and all your poses will be confident and check out this dress behind is beautiful before is beautiful sometimes you look at the dress is beautiful in front of the turn behind it doesn't make sense every part of this dress speaks to her beauty rocking her body perfectly and then she also accessorized properly she didn't do much when your dress is metallic and shining everywhere you know you do very less she didn't have much jewelry going on apart from her halo crown which is beautiful 
you know hello crowns are the thing now most girls are using hello crowns for their birthday shows and all that stuff so everything came together beautifully and the way she was posing like she was feeling beautiful from within this is awesome on every single picture every single angle mama was working it Congrats to you, Mavis. You definitely did your thing. And our village people, too, when they see a celeb, they want to go claim relationship. They want to go take selfies so they can come post on Facebook. Oh, I have pictures with Mavis Ann and all that stuff. So this uncle, too, saw her on the carpet. He rushed and went there. Can I get a picture with you? See how the man is dressed. Very unserious somebody. You don't even look like you belong on the red carpet. He looks like somebody works at a petrol station. What is he doing on the red carpet posing by Mavis? And this other auntie, too, that went to go and claim relationship. Look at her own dress. Be like close. If you pass corner, can't. So they can't go jump out the tin or carry a rubber gun and go and sit on the popular side. I beg you, <laughs> don't come and suffocate Mavis. All right, so we are going to move on to the next design and we are going to talk about the beautiful Onyama Laura who won the best actress at Camille 2021. So it was her season. Onyama Laura and Faith Fidel, both of them, they won best actress 2021, best overall actress. So Laura is turning in this beautiful bright red organza dress. So there's something about a big gown on a slim lady it makes so much sense a big princess gown that's a ball gown it looks amazing so when a dress is slim at the top and then big and flowy at the bottom it brings a different degree of elegance so that's laura looking amazing in her ganza dress with a little bit of sequins at the top big bright and flowy at the bottom and it's also one-handed with a little bit of detailing on the hands it looks amazing so she equally has her award in hand to show you guys that i'm one of the winners of the night hey hey look at that boo <laughs> yeah so laura has one of the most amazing smiles her biggest accessory is always her smile she has such a gorgeous smile i just like to see her smile all right so now i'm going to move on to the next person and the very next person on my list is teacher bb like i told you guys on my last video about kamif teacher bb is here to stay she not come to joke teacher bb did not come to play with anybody check out that beautiful sequin dress with pink roses on the dress it looks so adorable anybody can wear a sequin dress some people wearing a solid color sequin dress but she took it a step further she looked for something to differentiate her dress she put rose flowers on it and it looks adorable it's actually the life of the dress those beautiful roses they make it so different they take it to the next level and teacher bb's dress on the red carpet for the closing ceremony is by enticed by lulu design a Cameroonian designer and this is amazing so next up we have caro and her masako piece so on the night of the cultural event they really dressed well they represented their culture properly this is exactly how Bakuri people would dress. Kopis is a Bakuri guy, so he dressed well with his Bamba Karo. <laughs> They're looking nice. And then they moved on to the white party. Kopis was looking dapper, but Karo was looking like a little adjustment is needed to be made to that dress. The top was a little too big for her. And then we moved on to the mask gala. She wore this um, orange taffeta gown, looking good. Her accessories, everything are on point, but just a little bit of adjustments to be made here or there, especially towards the knee of the dress. See where her knee is folding, that part of the dress is folded. So the designer maybe rushed over the dress, or I don't know what, but they had to adjust that part of the dress. So little adjustments here or there. And then the final ceremony, the closing ceremony, she wore this beautiful um red gown with a high slit. It looks beautiful too. I mean, Caro is new to all these things, so we understand that she's still trying to adjust to the red carpet. We love her, we love her personality, but there's little um adjustments to be made here and there. But all in all, she did her best. Now we're moving on to the next design. Coming up next is Cameronia model and video vixen Sasha Fenty. Sasha's dress had so much potential. I'm actually mad it didn't come out together beautifully. This is a beautiful girl. It's not hard to dress a girl this beautiful. And she has all the curls. She's already looking amazing. It's easy to make her look good on the red carpet. But her dress unfortunately was poorly executed despite all the opportunities it had, despite all the potential it had. So Sasha is rocking a solid color dress with her beautiful crisscross top and a long A-line skirt. I mean, it looks beautiful on her bird. There were little lapses here or there. For example, the crisscross top is looking a little too large. They would have made it a little more fitted and customized to her body. And the next look that she had was a beautiful yellow gown. It was too short for an award show. When you're going to any show that involves a red carpet and all that, you want to make sure you're decent. This is a function that is professional. This is part of your job, part of what you're doing here. You can get gigs from here. But she went as though she was throwing a test strap at people. She went as though she was going clubbing. That was the dress that was too short for a red carpet event. So we equally had Askia, Carmonia artist, Carmonia rapper. Askia was invited to the show to perform and this is how she dressed for Kamif. So Askia has been criticized so much in this industry for her 
about fashion sense. People keep jacking her left, right, and center. They insult her a lot. I'm not about to go into that. But I like Mami Bakala. I love her, what she stands for. And, you know, her art is beautiful. So this is Asuka rocking her crop top and, you know, her beautiful long skirt, a layered skirt. And she's doing good. I mean, she's getting better every day. And next time you see her, it's definitely going to be better than this. So we equally had Vicky for color. Vicky just looks tired on this red carpet. I mean, we've seen her on her strong moments. We've seen her when she really put on the show. But today, it wasn't one of those days. I don't know what happened. She just was not serving us what we know her for. And then we equally had MC Dibenja, one of the uh, members from Biggie 237, one of the ex-contestants from Biggie 237. And <laughs> I don't know who deceived him that he could go to the red carpet looking like Tonton Banzi. It was just a little funny. But I like MC Dibenja. I like his confidence. I like the fact that he speaks English fluently. But mm -mm, that red carpet design just looked like a Banzi. So we equally had Soli Egwe. Oh my God, Soli is my man, man. Soli is my girl. Soli, I'm sorry I have to do you like that, boo. <laughs> so Soli was one of those who underwhelmed me on this red carpet, like she underdelivered. She got this beautiful body, this banging body. It's so hot. It's easy to dress a girl like you, but I don't know what happened. It just fell short on that black gown, man. It didn't make any sense to me. And then when she came to this other beautiful cassock dress, I mean, this dress had so much potential. This was her second dress something was not right i don't know whether it was her pose when you wear a dress that's first of all big with so many flappy layers you have to pose in a very striking way posing is all part of your look you can wear a beautiful dress but if you just go and stand in there anyhow nobody's going to see the beauty of the dress you have to work it see the way mavis Ann was working her dress that's what you got to do honey so uh, maybe she had to spread her leg a little bit push this one forward and then flip the layers of the dress backward a little bit so we can see the beauty and we see how it hugs her figure so that's just what i have to say about soli here so the next person we have to talk about is lino lovett and this was the night of the white party he appeared with his agbada looking like a rich allergy and he's also posed here with onyama laura laura for the night of the white party wore her white blazer and she looks amazing i don't know who this guy is but i love his dress he looks amazing in his little shirt and pretty cool thingy and and then this other guy i really need to know this guy's name i like his swag i like the confidence in his pose i like his little talks it looks good i like the way that he's posing his little six pack and the chest he's showing us i like the drip when i'm peeping the drip it makes more sense that's a little bad boy and he looks good on the red carpet so that's what's going on at Camif 2021 or oh, that's what went on on Camif 2021 we have some red carpet hits and misses we have some village people here that came to really embarrass us i'm not even going to pay them any mind and then we had some people that really showed up and showed out for us you know dressed well the likes of stephanie tom mavis and movu they did their thing yeah so that's what's going on you guys let me know what you think about the video in the comment section below and on that note i guess we've come to the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching i remain your girl unana if it is your first time on this channel please don't go without subscribing mm -hmm. subscribe like comment and share the video so we can get our community talking about this kami festival thank you guys so much i love you all share subscribe like and i'll see you next time goodbye Thank you.